Hi, hello. This is Anup here. And in this video, we are going to talk about WMI and probably some tips of WMI troubleshooting, right? Okay, so let's get started. This is this is my primary server, standalone primary server, and I'm going to connect to WMI using WebM test. This is the default tool available uh, within all Windows operating system, so you don't need to install any tools, extra additional tools here to use this utility. So this is the default path, right? But for the server side of uh, configuration manager, um, you need to go to site underscore MEM is my site code, right? So root SMS site underscore MEM, that is, that is a namespace for the server side of configuration manager. Okay, let's try to connect. Good, connected. Now, if you know what you're looking for, you can click on query, right? Uh, but the easiest method, if you are not sure like me, what is the exact class um, which you want to look, <laughs> then the better method is to use a new classes, right? So this is this is a new classes, super super class information. It's mentioned like that and click on recursive and click OK. So that will give you all the all the classes details over there, right? So all the things which starts with SMS underscore, right? That is basically all that we are interested, right? At least I am interested, right? So you can see AD application details, sync settings, tenant details, AD domain details, AD forest details, SSEM admin, SMS un underscore admin details, all those things are available over there, right? Um, so let me go to some of the interesting ones over here. Client health check details are also available here. That is also interesting. And client baseline items, CI baseline items, etc., etc. All these are collections, right? So you can see there are some MEM collections and there are some SMS collections. Probably you know the difference, right? Uh, the difference is SMS collections are basically default collections, which is out of box available in SCM or configuration manager. MEM collections are created collections, manually created or automatically created collection by admin or a process, right? So if you want to see, for example, this collection, details of this particular collection, you can click on this, double click on this, and uh, Normally, what I do is I do hide system property so that it would be helpful. So let me hide that and then let me let me check and go through uh, what are the details properties available in for this particular collection, right? That is common that these properties would be common for all the collection. So all the collection classes, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is this is this is kind of tedious to go through all these things one by one, right? Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, check instances over here for this namespace. Oh, uh, sorry. So for this collection, right? And there is no instances, uh, so I'm going to close this and select some of this collection this is the all user um, i think all devices collection this is all devices collection let me open that and hide system properties go to instances over here i can see a lot of things right a lot of instances so instances are nothing but the resources associated to that particular collection so this is since this is a um, all systems, all devices collection, and all the devices in this env 
uh, lab is available over here. Now, this is resources, right? This is resource ID. And you can see this is one of my uh, active resources, I think, or res device, I think. So I'm going to click on this and trying to trying to check what is what are the properties associated with this, right? Uh, but reading this is bit tedious process, right? What we can do is if you click on show morph, you would be able to see all these details, right? Uh, whether this device is uh, on internet or what is the client version of this device, what is the um, management point, right? All those details are available here, right? What is the CA? Error details failed on client with error, dash, 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 right? So these details are useful, very useful in terms of troubleshooting okay, scenarios. So that's good. Oh, we have seen we have seen how to connect to different classes, and within within each classes, you can go to the details and see which are the instances available or resources inside that classes, right? And you can go to each properties of each resources from there. Okay, so this is. And show more. If you click on show more, you will get all the details, right? Okay. So that is all about uh, one of the one of the resources, right? So if I close all these things, you can see different different collections over here. You can check any one of them, right? Or all all the other details are also here sms um, sorry this is deployment type let me click on deployment type and let me see what are the instances available right so these are the deployments available in the lab environment so i'm going to click on the first one mentioned over here i already use this hide system properties because that will avoid irrelevant entries right for our troubleshooting ssem related troubleshooting or configuration manager related troubleshooting over here. So you can see application model name, application condition name, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, over here. Now, if you want to see more details about in a readable format, right? This is the best way. Click on show morph and that will present you this one. What is the application model and what is the unique CI, right? And these CIs can be used sometimes uh, in the log files, right? Application related log files to troubleshoot application deployments and content ID. All those things can be can be checked from here or verified from here who created this and date of creation, last modification date, all those details are very, very useful, right? Edge 64. Don't get confused with this. There are the easy way uh, to, to cater this as well. So the other method I'm going to show you is uh, pretty easy uh, to, to go through all these WMI classes, right? Namespaces, classes, and properties of each classes. And if you have different instances within the class. You can go to that also right from here. Okay, now what I'm going to show you is a tool which is called WMI Explorer, right? That is created by Vinay and this has been very useful for a lot of SSCM admins, including me. So you just need to connect, click on connect if you are connecting from um, if you are using this tool from a primary server, right, you can just click on connect and uh, that will show you different namespaces available in that server. And from that, you can select the relevant one that is WMA related troubleshooting or SCM related troubleshooting. You can see all these, all these classes are available here. And this is the option I'm 
it's very useful, right? If you click, if you select, if you search with collection, right? All the collection details will be available here in this one, right? If you click on this, SMS collection classes, you would see instances, right? So we clicked on instances in a box in the previous example with WebM test, but in this you can see a uh, different collections over here, right? And if you want to see if, if I check the same collection, all devices, all systems collection over here, you can see all those properties available here in a very much a readable format, right? The WebM test is good, but it is not user friendly as WMI Explorer, I would say. Third one is I use this a lot of times when when I started working with um, SMS, SMS 2003, SSCM 2007. Um, I, I never used this uh, recently in current branch scenarios, but this is always useful. This is this is basically checking the WMI health. Uh, so we you can just type WMI MGMT from probably run. Let me try that. WMI MGMT or MRC. Right. Okay. So you can just type that from the run that will give you this view. Otherwise, you can launch it from WMI Explorer as well, right? So right click on this and go to properties it will check the connectivity uh, with the wmi database and it says okay successfully connected right and you can also see all those details right where these wmi files are stored wbm file is stored somewhere in system 32 etc os version uh, service pack uh, WMI version, et cetera, et cetera, are all available here, right? And the security is the most, like the, the more useful piece over here in my troubleshooting experience, right? In security, in the previous versions of uh, Configuration Manager, I have seen issues with security, probably because of some local policies or group policies coming down from your domain controllers, and that is playing around with the security of WMI. Uh, that is called that could cause some issues with console access, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, when it is uh, kind of a remote console, etc. Right. So it's always worth checking all these permissions and documenting it. Probably that would be helpful for the future, right? So another, this is another tip I wanted to provide um, today. So we we checked three things today. We checked W WBM test. This is the one WBM test. We test. Uh, we checked that we have we we have had a um, go through and then we had gone through this that is wmi explorer and the third one is wim mgmt wim management right so this is basically to check the permissions and connectivity basic things right that's it for this video i hope this was useful Thank you all for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.